Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share with you a new idea about how to accelerate and enhance the computational performance for convolution neural networks uh, by suggesting to invent a new type of FPGA family. I name it Horus FPGA family in this project, which has like a specific and optimized pyramidal neuron units in its silicon uh, fabric architectures. If we will zoom in, we will find some examples of the state-of-the-art DSP embedded blocks provided by either Intel Altera or other vendors. Actually, they are giving prestigious computational performance levels as a generic block. But if we are talking about um, convolution neural networks, so we need to optimize such blocks by either removing the unnecessary uh, logic units or to optimize the width of each bus inside uh, the DSP blocks but I suggest to remove it all to remove the DSP blocks from the silicon fabric architecture and to replace it by a neuron blocks the neuron blocks can have a pyramidal neuron architecture uh, shapes as you can see in each shape it has a three uh, level of uh, hierarchy the first one responsible for the dot product and the second one responsible for the parallel uh, addition and the third one responsible for the activation function uh, in the first layer as we can see for the first architecture it can perform up to nine uh, dot product simultaneously and it all of the, the output will be added uh, at the same time in the second layer and then it will be drive to the third layer here it can perform up to uh, 25 dot product simultaneously and this one 49 and actually if you will see I just selected the basic kernel uh, filter size for such networks but here in this example I just show another one which is smaller than this one it has in the in, in its first layer just four multiplier units um, so this is what about this project is to replace the DSP by a new pyramidal neuron architecture shapes to enhance the capabilities for the new generation of the convolution neuro neural network architectures in the blue diagram as we can see it has a simple GUI interface on the laptop to send and to receive the data and on the FBGA side it has two main blocks the first one is the high-speed serial communication block it can send and receive information up to 2.5 megabit per second and the neuron block itself so here we will find that the parallel Mac unit and the activation function are combining together to perform to to to, uh, to produce the pyramidal uh, neuron architecture shape and then we have a control unit which is responsible to communicate between the neuron block and the high speed serial communication so for the live demonstration we have as we uh, saw in the block diagram the FPGA is connecting to uh, the USB serial module to the FP to the our laptop and actually we will demonstrate three examples the first one um, the first one as you can see we have a, an, a positive output from the addition uh, layer so we are expecting that the output will be positive as well from the activation function so we have as we can see four inputs and four corresponding uh, weight coefficients the first input will be equal to five in decimal the second one will be four and then seven and the th last one will be 25 in decimal but for the weights it equal to 0 8 46 and the last weight will be equal to minus 11 in decimal and uh, since we have a sign value for the weights um, so we can represent it in two bytes F zero so it, the value will be zero x zero zero and since it's positive so it will be zero x zero zero if it uh, 46 so 46 in hexadecimal it will be zero x two e and since it's positive so it will be zero x zero zero the last one is minus 11 so it's negative so it will not be positive so uh, we need to write down here 0x01 as a sign and the value minus 11 in second complement it will be 0xf5 the addition or the result from the addition will be equal to 79 so 
if it's a positive input value to the activation function, so we are expecting that the output will be 79 as well. Uh, the second example, we are just uh, modified the results, uh, sorry, the values for the input and the corresponding uh, weight values uh, to make the addition equal to zero. And if it equal, the, if the input to the activation function equal to zero, as you can see, so the output will be expected to be zero as well. And in the third example, we are actually uh, changing the value once again for the input and their weight uh, coefficient to make the the output from the other equal to minus to, to be negative. So if we have a negative value to the activation function, so the output expecting to be equal to zero. So we will start demonstrating um, these results that we will get. So first of all, we need to um, configure our FPGA. And then this is a, a simple uh, GUI um, to send and to receive the data. And as we can see, the value of the baud rate is equal to 2.2. is equal to 2.5 uh, megabit per second. So I will start right now sending the data values and then I will send the weight. Um, so the first one is five and then four, as we can see, and then seven and then 25. Uh, so then I will start sending the weight. So the value for the first one is zero zero and its sign is zero zero. Then the second weight has a value equal to zero eight and the sign equal to zero zero, which is positive. And then uh, two E and then it's positive. So it will be zero zero. The last one is F five and it's negative. So it will be zero one. At that case, we receive a value equal to 79, which is as what we were expecting to get from the activation function. Now we will do the same thing, but for uh, example number two. So in example number two, um, the first value equal to eight and then 107 this is the value for the second input and then uh, 30 and then 166 okay and then we will start sending the coefficients so the first coefficient is a0 this is the value and it's positive so it will be 0 0 and then we have 12 and it's again positive and then we have d2 and again it's oh, it's negative so it will be 0 1 and then we have um, f5 and then it's we send the sign which is 0 1 and we are expecting to get 0 why because Again, if the input of the summation equal to zero, so the output of the activation function will be equal to zero as well. Uh, the last example, the last example that we will demonstrate will be example number three. So again, um, the first input equal to eight, and then sixty, and then. 30 and then 166 and then after we enter the data we need to enter the um, weight coefficient values the first one will be a0 and it's positive and then the second one will be 12 and again it's positive the third one is d2 and it's negative so it will be 0 1 and then we have f five and it's uh, negative so we will get zero as well why because if the input to the activation fu function is negative so actually the output will be uh, zero 